hands have gathered up the wind? Who has wrapped up the waters in a cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is the name of his son? Surely you know. Can you just hear this beautiful passage of scripture exclaiming who God is, screaming out his greatness? Can you imagine the, the Lord holds the wind in his hand? There is no trouble that the God cannot come in and hold in his hand. There's, he's holding us in the palm of his hand. It's amazing to me the greatness of God. I think if we were smart, we would take this passage of scripture and put it on, um, I don't know, our refrigerators, our computers, wherever we spend our time in our car and read it and remind ourselves, surely I know. The, the God who, who, who has gone up to heaven and come back, we know who that is. We've experienced his power that lives within us, that power of God that is holds the wind in his hand is the same power that lives within you and within me. That, to me, is amazing. Um, so when I think of the world that we live in and the people who try to, 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 to get into control, get into places of authority, and I think, you know, we don't need to be threatened because we have a God that has gone up to the heavens and has come back. We have a God that holds the wind in his hand. We have a God that holds the waters in, the clo in his cloak. Tell me then, why should we be frightened here? Why should we be fearful, even in this election year, of who's going to rise to power? Because ultimately, they're, not, they're in a place of a power, but they're not at ultimately in the ultimate power. And, and so we, I think sometimes it gets out of perspective because fear creeps in, because we start seeing the world, the foundation of our world crumbling a little bit, and the authority that, that, that the Lord has left here seems to be dismissing. And, but you know what, believers? It's still the same great God, still the same greatness of him. The authority of God is still existing. And so we don't need to fear. We need to step into who he is on a daily, daily and in, in daily live in that place where God is. His greatness lives within you and within me, and he is waiting to come out. And sometimes I think we, we, we shelter, we, we hide because we live in fear instead of allowing God to use us as those bold, fearless people. So today, remember, believers, we serve a... <laughs>